What's up guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're gonna go over this liquid glow effect that we've seen in the new NBA Youngboy videos. This is how the effect looks. Before we get into the tutorial, make sure you guys click the subscribe button below if you want to see more tutorials. It really helps with my motivation to make more of these, so make sure you click the button below. Alright, so let's jump right into After Effects. So once you're in After Effects and you have your clip ready, what you want to do is highlight your clip, press Ctrl D. Once you've done that, double click your top layer and click the rotoscope button on top here. So what we need to do is rotoscope out our subject. Make sure you guys use the version 2.0 right here as it's way better than the 1.0 version. The 2.0 version came with the 2020 After Effects version. So make sure you guys update your After Effects. I'm just gonna speed this part up, but if you guys don't know how to roll a bush, there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube on how to do this. The basics of it is left clicking makes a thing go purple and holding alt makes the thing go away. So we use alt to remove what you don't want. Alright, so when you finish your roto brush, make sure you click the freeze button down here, which is just gonna lock your rotoscope into place. So now we have one layer, which is the rotoscope, which is the top one right here. You can just hide the bottom one to see this. And I can see that the bottom layer is the background and the roto brush is on top. So what you want to do now is go to your effects and presets and find the find edges effect and drag that onto your top clip. Make sure you to click invert and also find the levels effect and also apply that on the top clip. And in this bar right here you want to find the levels that has a lot of contrast between black and white. Try to find a good point in your clip that has a lot of shapes and lines so you can see what level you want. I think mine right here is good but if you want you can adjust it later. So now what you want to do is pre-comp this top layer. Make sure you click the move all attributes into new composition button and click OK. Go into your new composition and zoom in on your, on your timeline. What you want to do now is right click this empty area here and click new and then find solid. You want to make one white solid which goes above your clip and make one black solid which goes below your clip. Make sure you cut the ends of these. On this white solid right here, you want to apply the fractal noise effect and set the contrast to about 800 or so. And you can adjust the brightness how you want, but I, I like to keep mine low. For my example, I'm gonna use 17. And now what you wanna do is hold Alt and click the evolution button right here. And you're gonna see that there's a text box that's gonna appear here. What you wanna do is go in the text box and write time times 1000 and just go out of it. What this is gonna do is make the fractal noise move and you're gonna see that the movement has a lot of variations. You can adjust the amount of time right here if you want, but I'm gonna have mine at a thousand for now. Now you wanna make sure that you go to the modes right here and go on the white solid and have this selected as multiply. And now you're gonna see that this is blended into your clip now. So you're gonna have movement in the lines. Now that you have something that looks like this, you wanna make sure you cut off the excess that, that you have from your composition. And what you wanna do now is go to your effects and find the Unmult plugin from uh, Red Giant Universe and apply that to your clip. Make sure you have Invert not selected and Unmult on. Now that your clip looks somewhat normal again, highlight your top layer, go into Layer and find Auto Trace. Copy these settings right here. Have Tolerance 3, Minimum Error 3, Threshold 10, Corner Red Runness 10, Blur 0, apply to new layer and make sure we have work area selected, then press OK. I forgot to mention that before you do this, make sure that your composition is selected only to your clip. Just go to the starting clip, press B and then go to your end and click N. That way the trace is only gonna affect the area and if you don't do this, your After Effects might crash. So once you've done this, you might see this right here, but if you think this is annoying, click the blue button right here for the toggle masks and shape visibility. What you wanna do now is go to your effects again and find Saber. This is a free plugin by Video Copilot. I'll put the link to this in the description. So at first you're gonna see this. So what you're gonna do is go into alpha mode and click mask core. Also make sure your mode right down here is selected to add. You wanna make sure you go into customize core and click layer masks on the core type, go into flicker and have the flicker intensity at 50% and flicker speed at 15. You can play around with all these settings but this is what I'm gonna change for right now. So after this what I like to do is go into presets and click the electric because I think 
In my opinion, this is the one that looks best out of all the presets for that liquid slash electric feel. So once you've done this, you want to play around with your glow settings right here. I'm going to keep the glow intensity at 58. I'm going to keep the glow spread at 0.1. I'm going to take the glow bias up a tiny bit to about 0.28. And then the core size I'm going to keyframe because I want the effect to gradually start. So in the beginning, I'm going to keyframe it and have it at zero. I'm going to go a few frames in and put it up to 0.7. I'm going to change the color right away because I like more contrast. So I'm going to have mine at this green to contrast with his jacket. And also I'm going to keyframe the opacity. So after go two more frames in and keyframe the opacity on both your layers and then have it start at zero at the beginning. Now you want to play with your start offset. There's really no right answer for which one is the best, but just play around with it. I'm gonna make sure I also have the mask randomization on on the flicker to create more randomness in my effect. So I'm gonna keyframe the start offset at the beginning to have it at 75 and then go to the end of my clip and have it to about 50 for my example. You can, If you want less glow you can have it turn it up to about 60. I'm gonna have it at 60 actually. And now you can play around with the end offset. I'm gonna have mine at about 85 to about 90 I guess. I'll have mine at 90. I'm gonna turn down my glow bias just a tiny bit because I think it looks too glowy right now. So I'm gonna have mine at 0.15. If you don't like how your effect is looking right now, you can go back to your middle composition and you can change the level value bar right here. This will allow you to have more lines or less lines or more contrast if you want. If you made changes to the levels, you have to go back and go to the top and click layer and, and auto trace your clip again. So after playing around with the settings a bit and just testing what looks good, this is how the final effect looks. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to click the subscribe button below if you want more tutorials. Also follow the Instagram in the description and leave a comment what effect you want to see next on the channel. So I hope you guys learned something new today. Try to be as creative as possible with the settings and make it unique in your own style. So again guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.